Price is high. It's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday, the 22nd of March 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So um, I'm doing this on Sunday, these readings for the following week. I still had no internet, but last night, oh no, the night before, I actually got internet piggybacked off the lady in the front house. Um, been a bit of a disastrous week and we still hadn't seen a technician and um, after all that that's all we needed to do. So um, but because I'd done some readings that with the Star Temple Oracle I do usually read out of the book but because we started the week and I've only just read the card still um, this week it will only be the card that's read and then next week we will be back as usual per usual. And um, I don't know if you watched from a few months ago, I am a terrible shopper and I've said and said and said that I'm going to get some new cards and I still haven't so um, I might have a look at doing it. I might, I just say might. <laughs> <laughs> not holding not holding my breath for anything like the, like the internet <laughs> but um yeah so it's sunday here today in australia i'm well, i'm in australia and it's sunday morning here and i thought well i'll get these out for the week because i'll be back at work tomorrow and when i come home from work there's actually still a bit of light in this room that i can do readings but i might try and get some of the monthly readings done the window um it's a bit overcast today so it's not as glary there so that's awesome and um, I might have a bit of a croaky voice because I went out last night my friend was filling in as a drummer in, in our band and we went out and um, yeah so we were singing at the top of our voices <laughs> we'll see how my voice holds out today right Okay, so Pisces, you get number 58, Stag Spirit, take the lead. Love that. It's like step up. Yeah, step up and take that lead and show the way. Show everyone, show the world who you are and you're able to yep, lead the way for, for others. Love it. Nothing's jumping out here in the Moontology for you. There you go. Okay, Pisces, you get the full moon eclipse. The conclusions are within reach. There you go. Take the lead because your conclusions are within reach. There's some answers there that are actually right there, but you just may need to take the lead and um, approach them first and get those conclusions or answers. Okay, 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Oops, nearly gave you a chunk, chunk of cards for the past energies there. Wow, okay, could be dealing with a Capricorn overall. You have got the Deceiver card, so um, some sort of negative toxic energy that may be hanging around for the week. Could be an addiction of some sort, it may be um, within, it may be somebody close to you, but you're feeling chained to this energy and unable to break free from that. Okay, straight up, maybe time to take the lead and move away from that energy, because your other conclusions there are within reach. Um, but we'll get, try and break that up with your clarifications there. Okay, past energies, you've got the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords and the Princess of Wands. So getting some control back in the past of a situation where you felt out of control, covered by a lot of pain and a lot of hurt there with the Ten of Swords. That cycle is finishing, but um, could have been a lot of gossip or backstabbing and like it did cause a lot of pain there. So getting control of the situation back there. 
You've got the Princess of Wands, very compassionate energy there, willing to share your dreams and ideas with others, so love that. Okay, present energy, you've got the Fool, the Ace of Wands, and the King of Wands. So you're going from the Ace right through to the King, and it's saying maybe take a chance with this dream and goal and vision that you have. You've got control of that dream, and um, you know where you want to be heading towards. Could be an apology on the cards for some of you, whether that's you or whether that's them, but um, it is also saying take that chance, take that risk, and follow that dream that you're wanting there starting at the start and seeing it through to completion here okay future energies you've got the six of swords seven of wands and the queen of pentacles so some sort of movement maybe under cover of darkness maybe done in secret maybe applying for another job in another town moving to another town anything like that okay but it is a movement card with that six of swords and you've got the seven of wands as well so it's saying don't give up don't quit keep persisting maybe taking that lead there as well okay and you finish with the queen of pentacles so proud of your achievements proud of how far you've come okay overall and maybe breaking this energy up overall that you have for the week there okay so pisces we will clarify each of these Deceiver. Let's see what's going on with this here. It's the only major arcana you have. Oh no, in the fall. But you get judgment, hierophant, and justice. So that straight up is what I call supernova energy. Okay, you've got four major arcanas overall for the week. Love these ones to clarify this one. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, but keeping an open mind. Okay, to break this energy up, keep an open mind, don't cave into peer pressure, by all means, listen to both sides of the story, don't judge others and don't let them judge you as well though, to come out with that successful outcome with that justice card. Um, as I said, could be dealing with a Libra, that's good karma, good work coming in for your efforts. So overall, you might be standing up for your own beliefs, doing it your way, taking that lead, okay, in order to get that success there. And that's that's right there as well conclusions they are within reach there they are okay past energies you've got the two of pentacles with the hanged man the magician and the emperor look at all these major arcanas now it's like they're coming out super super fast okay but sitting on the fence biding your time manifesting your way of going forward how you're going to process progress process how you're going to progress from here could be dealing with an Aries you've got the Emperor there very strong masculine energy very much in control of the situation at hand so love that okay ten of swords you get the Knight of Cups five of Pentacles Queen of Cups yeah somebody may have left you left blocked or abandoned left you out in the cold that caused that ten of swords pain okay a lot of pain and a lot of hurt but there's love coming in here quite strong and sturdy a lot of loving nurturing energy around you and you are actually proud of how far you've come emotionally that five of um that five of pentacles is also a movement card it's moving away from this cold energy here so they are actually moving forward from that Okay, you're going into the Princess of Wands with the King of Wands, Seven of Cups, and this Nine of Wands. Okay, again, in control of your dreams and where you're wanting to be heading towards, there's all these choices and options. So not being overwhelmed, knowing that you need to check each one out carefully and make selections from there that suit you. But um, you've come through all these hurdles and obstacles to get to where you are, onto the solid ground, and you kind of, there's a lot of anticipation now of what to do now. Where do I go? You may not be used to being on that clearing, on that solid ground there. Excuse me. Good old Barocco. <laughs> okay, so present energy, you've got the Fool with the Two of Cups, 
Wow, the Fool clarifying the Fool and the Empress. So very aware. There's love here on this journey with you. And I think you're actually very aware that that's there. Okay, and you're ready to take a chance. Take a risk and um, maybe jump in feet, feet first and all, do they say? Into this Ace of Wands and the King of Wands, the rest of the energy at the present energy line. Okay, again, taking that lead, you're very aware that um, when that timing is going to be right. And as I said, there's that Two of Cups there, there's love there with you. So the Ace of Wands, you get the Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So if along the way, you felt like you're carrying all this weight yourself. You're having to do everything yourself. There's no teamwork involved. Even though you've got that Two of Cups back there, it might be taking a chance and bringing that at bringing that to the table, bring that into the situation. You've got that two of wands, so um, that wheel of fortune is propelling you forward to keep moving towards your goals and your dreams, okay? So it's saying don't stop, don't let it come to you. It, it won't just land there on its own. You need to still progress towards it and that wheel will be turning and pushing you forward with that. Okay, to your King of Wands, you got the Five of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. To get this successful outcome, there may have been a broken heart somewhere along the way, possibly a third party situation where somebody's trying to claim something that's that's, that's duly yours. Okay, it caused a lot of conflict, disagreements, arguments, but um, you remained in control of where you're heading towards and you have come out with that Ten of Pentacles successful outcome. Okay, so your future energies, you get the Six of Swords with the Eight of Cups, Page of Wands and the World. So as I said, Six of Swords is a movement card, movement away but done in secret and you're actually walking away from some sort of emotional attachment here. Okay, so that may be what that movement is, that you're moving away from something that's not needed anymore. You've got that Page of Wands, you know where you're heading towards, you've got that vision and that goal got your head held high so watching that coming in towards you but again that world's there divine timing but it's also turning and pushing you forward because you know these dreams don't just come and land in front of you but it does take work to move towards them okay so the seven of wands you get the king of pentacles knight of pentacles and the four of pentacles a lot of earth sign there so could, could be dealing with a taurus or virgo or capricorn but inundated with success and abundance by not quitting, not giving up on something. It, there's somebody coming in quite confident, quite sure of themselves to offer you, to work with you, make a successful go of things. That Knight of Pentacles though is talking about patience. It's the slowest card in the pack and um, this offer may still be on its way. You, you're still hanging on to something here, not wanting to release something that's, that's there, but you are remaining balanced, but it's almost a sense of no, hang on, this is mine. I earned this, I worked for this, and um, kind of hanging on to something there. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, you get the Six of Wands, Death card, and Page of Swords. Could be dealing with um, Scorpio, but there's victory here. You're proud of your successes and your achievements along the way, as we said. You've got a win. There's the victory card with that Six of Wands. Um, releasing all the energy that you don't need and you're riding into something brand new. Some sort of brand new beginning there that you're ready for. You're ready for this next chapter, whatever that's going to be bringing you there. So absolutely love that. Okay, so Pisces, we'll see what the universe has to say. Again, you get the Eight of Cups, the Lovers, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so there's that walking away again. You've got that in your future energies as well. Clarification, walking away from some sort of emotional attachment that's not serving you. So detaching there from something. Could be dealing with a Gemini. There is somebody on this journey with you. You may be, you may be meeting somebody brand new. You may be walking away into this Lovers situation. And you know into the arms of somebody so to speak but um yeah soulmate twin flame somebody very significant maybe somebody existing already that's on this journey with you okay and the two of you can see that success it's right there in front of you you can almost just grab it so love that again your conclusions are within reach nine of cup nine of pentacles are within reach there beautiful 
to my landlady's phone for how long it took us to reconnect it. <laughs> okay, so the Star Temple Pisces. Okay. So you get number 24, the little star, down. Oh, divine. Where did I get dance from? I just saw the D. I'm thinking dance. The little star, divine. My inner child is whole and complete. Beautiful, love that. Taking that lead, conclusions are within reach, and my inner child is whole and complete. Beautiful. So Pisces, that is what I have for you for the week. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down here, and I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.